What is the first sign of civilization? Grads asked at the table. There was a veritable menagerie of species from across the Alliance. Well, it is obvious, is it not? McGrell said, pushing his glasses along his beak with a feathered hand. It is clearly the mass negation hyperdrive, he declared, with such conviction that some of the others at the table nodded in agreement. Pah! spurred the heavily muscled Histron. Problem with my analysis, Commander Bonesplitter? The girl asked, arching a brow. You set the bar too high, pal, the commander spat back, not giving any ground. We have encountered species which had not developed such machines, yet they were what we would still call a civilization. Hey, yes, I suppose so. Pal conceded. Then pray tell, what do you consider the first sign then? It should be clear. Nuclear power. Bone split a clenched his fist for emphasis. Nuclear power? A diminutive mouse like Sek repeated, confused. Sorry, sir, do you mean weapons or usage in energy? He asked, in a voice that seemed liable to squeak if not controlled well. Yes! Bone split a clenched his fist again as he rose to further emphasize his point. Nuclear power. Both used with destruction and energy is the first sign of civilization. His booming voice cowed a few of the attendees into nodding. Whether through agreement or fear, only they could say. Don't you agree, little one? The commander gestured to the sec. Respectfully, sir, I must throw your own statement back at you. The sec, this time actually squeaking. As you pointed out to the chief science official over there, we have encountered civilizations which did not have access to the mass negation hyperdrive. We have also encountered civilizations that did not use nuclear energy. They all utilized either hydrocarbons or natural forces, the sec finished. That is true. Bone Splitter held his hand to his chin in thought as he ruminated on the idea. Well, I'm stumped. What about you, little one? Me, sir, the sec squeaked in shock. The commander just nodded in response. It is in this humble one's opinion, writing's the first sign of civilization. While many barely sentient creatures will use tools and even make some, Writing is, in this one's opinion, the first sign of civilization. There were moments of agreement. Even the commander and the chief science officer both nodded in agreement. The only head nod bobbing was the human at the table. Do you disagree, Sir Human? Pearl asked. In part, I suppose. The human bobbed his head while shrugging his shoulders. Then what do you believe is the first sign of civilization? Pearl asked pointedly, following his species' natural tendency to put up or shut up. Okay, I will start this by saying this isn't my idea, but one I do agree with. The human paused and looked around the wrapped table. A healed femur, he finally said. A silence fell on the table at what they felt was an anticlimactic answer. A healed femur, Pearl repeated. I understand humans are only just advancing, but to state such a mundane thing is... Pearl gave a broad gesture as if looking to the others for the worst to express himself. Bit of a simplistic letdown, Bone Splitter finally filled in. Why do you think a heal femur? The sec asked. Because it takes weeks for a femur to heal. The human answered before looking around at the expectant gazes. With a sigh, the human cleared his throat and began again. As I just said, it takes weeks to heal a femur. Weeks where the injured person can't do anything. In an uncivilized world, they will be left for dead. Maybe even killed and eaten, depending. But civilization begins when you help someone through trouble. Whether injury, illness, or anything else. The moment you can put the care of others above care for yourself, is when civilization is born, the human finished. The table looked on in surprise. The answer was an interesting idea. The thought that caring for others, even in hardships, was something they would never have thought to list.